19 Vigo County employees will be without a job beginning Monday. The Vigo County Commissioners offered a buyout to all 500 county employees. It is a way for the county to save money and not force anyone out of a job. A total of 42 people said yes to the offer by last Friday's deadline. But as News 10's Kate Green found out, not all of the buyouts were accepted. She joins us live in the studio to explain. Kate? Mark, this Friday will be the last day for work for about 19 county employees. But that doesn't mean they still won't see a paycheck. All 19 employees will be paid for the remainder of the year, and they'll also receive their benefits. But buying out these employees brings big savings for the county. Next year, the county will see a potential savings of around $460,000. And if the positions are not refilled by the 2012 and every year after that, the county will see a savings of around $700,000. So who was accepted in the buyout? Although some employees from the Vigo County Jail, Juvenile Detention Center, and the Highway Department accepted the buyout offer, they were denied because of their positions would have to be refilled. Instead, departments like the Vigo County Clerk's Office, which already lost six full-time employees due to budget cuts, will now be losing an additional five or six employees. We'll be in a state of emergency, truly, uh, to lose all of these trained, valuable employees that I won't have anyone to do their jobs. Now keep in mind all county departments are under a hiring freeze at this time. But County Council President Kathy Miller says rehiring some of those positions is not out of the question. We'll look at each department individually and a committee will meet and assess the, the need to replace those people as they make those requests. Now, if the county had decided to buy out all 42 employees and then rehire most of those positions, they would have to actually spend more money than they would have saved. That's why they chose the other option instead. Mark, back to you. Thank you, Kate. County Council President Kathy Miller says even though this is a big step in budget savings, more cuts could be made down the road.